Novak Djokovic is one of the biggest contenders to become the greatest tennis player of all time. With a career that started in 2003, Novak had many ups and downs especially in the beginning. However, in 2008, he won his first major title in the Australian Open, beating another rising superstar, Joe Wilfred Tsonga. On his way to the final, Novak has beaten Roger Federer in the semis, dropping only one set throughout the entire tournament. He became the first Serbian to ever win a Grand Slam. It was also the first major title won by players other than Roger Federer or Rafael Nadal since the Australian Open in 2005. After that, Novak's Grand Slam career went to a cooling off period. The Serb was suffering regular mid-match collapses due to some health issues. Probably the most famous one came in the Australian Open 2009 against Andy Roddick in the quarterfinals. Novak quit the match trailing two sets to one. That match aroused a lot of suspicions around Novak in the media, especially that it wasn't his first time to retire while trailing in a match. That day, Roger had something very interesting to say about that incident in his post-match interview. Yeah, I'm sure you'll be diplomatic, but we were kind of surprised also uh, with the heat getting into him like that and seeing him stop. Well, I mean, it's happened before, so I mean, it's not it's not the guy who's never given up in his career, you know. So that's kind of um, disappointing to see, you know, when you got two top guys playing each other and you give up. I mean, he gave it up against me uh, in Monaco this year because of uh, last year because of sore throat. Yes, yeah, so, I mean, uh, those are kind of things, you know, you you wonder about. Um, I've only given up basically once in my career. That came just now in Paris against Blake when I couldn't move because of my back, you know. But I think Andy pushed him there, and Andy may, you know, might uh, probably would have run away anyway with the match. So I think Andy, Andy completely deserved the match. Yeah, well, you're playing great tennis. It's going to be a great semi final between you and Andy. All the best. I hope so. Thanks a lot. From being a player with suspect fitness, Djokovic has become arguably the greatest athlete in world tennis, combining stamina and strength with extraordinary speed and flexibility. So, what was the turning point in Novak's career? Number one, the moment that changed his life forever. Djokovic was in Croatia in the summer of 2010 for a Davis Cup tie. Right there he met Dr. Igor Chitoyevich, a nutritionist and a fellow Serb who led him to completely change his diet. A diet to which Novak still owes all of his success. I, I do eat plant based and I think that's, uh, that's one of the, the reasons why I recover well and you know, I don't have allergies that I used to have anymore. It, it is uh, about how this diet affects the world, not just uh, personal health, but also sustainability and ecology, animals. And this is what I care about, so I'm really privileged to be part of that team. Number two, the match that made him believe in his abilities. Earlier in his career, Novak was always struggling against Roger and Rafa in big matches, especially in Grand Slams where he had a record of 8 losses and only 1 win. That was until the US Open 2010 came around, the tournament that probably had the most important win in Novak's career. Imagine playing a Grand Slam semi-final, going to 5 sets against Roger Federer, having to save two match points, with the majority of the crowd chanting against you. That's when Novak showed unmatched mental strength. It was a match that awakened the monster inside him, which later led to arguably the greatest tennis season of all time in 2011, where Novak won three out of the four major titles and claimed the world number one spot for the first time. Before we get into the highlights, if you want more videos like this one, Please hit the like button and subscribe, it really helps me make more content and also don't forget to tell me what you think of my commentary. It's my first try, so bear with me, my English is not the best I guess, so I really need to hear your opinions. Thank you so much for your never ending support and without further ado, enjoy the highlights.
Ouais, enfin, qui n'est pas content du, du spectacle.